helping us or not. Now, find the next largest value in the nums, which is strictly smaller than the largest value, which again, it should be strictly smaller than the largest value. If the largest value is 5, it cannot be 5 itself. Even if in my nums I have 5, but it cannot be 5. It has to be 4 or maybe less, right? Now, reduce the nums of i, which is the largest value, to actually the next largest value, which is the just a strictly um, smaller value. Return the number of operations to make all the elements in num equal. Now, I want to return the number of operations to just make all the elements in nums as equal. Now, one thing is for sure, I'll just do exactly what the question says. I'll take a 5 and then I know that my 5 needs to be replaced with a 3. Okay. Firstly, firstly, as the problem says, I have to take the largest element. If I have this array with me, what is the data structure I can use to take the largest element? I can use a priority queue, I can use a set, I can use a map. Right. Standardly to find to take the largest element, we usually take a priority queue or a set. So let's take a priority queue. Maxi. So I'll grab a five. I know that this five needs to be replaced to the next largest element, which is actually a three. So I know I'll just grab in my priority queue. So it would look something like this. I grab the top element five. I'll get the next next element which is top 3. I know that the 5 needs to be replaced by 3. Okay. I'll just have a 3. I just have 5 and 3. I'll replace 5 with a 3. I know the operation 1 has been performed. My answer has been increased by 1. And I'll just push those both of these back into my priority queue. It will become a 3-3. Three, three. Now, again, if I just ask the priority queue for top element, it will, it will return me a 3. But the next smaller element will also be a 3. So rather than just pushing 3, 3, rather just say one thing, okay, I will have a pair of element and its count. So every time I, let's say one was here, so its count is also one. So every time I'm just pulling out an element, so I just know, okay, it is a next largest element. I, I don't have to pull it multiple times out, right? And push multiple times in. So I'll just pull it back out. I'll know the top element is actually a three with a frequency of two, remember that. And also the next top element is one. I know for sure all of these threes need to be converted to a one, which is the next smaller element. So I just convert that to a one. So operations required a two because I had two threes so answer is plus two so answer is three for sure as simple as that i just did exactly what the question was saying exactly what the question was saying let's have a quick check with this example one 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 with a frequency of three it has just one element it has no next smaller element for sure just stop right here and return answer as zero nothing happened here we'll just do same thing we'll just firstly have a count of every element frequency i'll just have one count as three Sorry, two. Uh, two's count as again a two, and three count is as one. And for sure, uh, our priority queue will only be sorted on the basis of their uh, values. So I just grab the top two elements from the priority queue. I know that the three needs to convert to a two. I am only concerned about the three being converted. So I just add a one in my answer, which is my three got converted to a two. Okay. This will go away. The frequency of two will actually increase by one of the three, which what which got as you saw that it was two, right? Three frequency was one. You know this three got converted to a two. And all these threes, as in all these ones, which means the frequency of three got converted to a two. So just add this frequency in the next element, which is actually two. So I'll just get a two as new frequency as three. Because I remove both of them, I push back the two only. Now I have these two as the top element. I just remove two. Okay. And I have to, I, I know that I have to make it as one as the nums. So I'll just make all of these three as one. So I'll add a three because I know the transformations are done on top of these two element, element of the value two and on these three elements. Again, this is gone. I have just one element remaining with a frequency of five. Voila. We are good. We are done. That's what you have to do in this entire problem. And the answer is four. So you will see that you are using a priority queue, uh, right? So it's the operation is nothing but n log n, right? So the operation is n log n. So again, uh, when the entire thing is done, firstly, you will use entire map kind of an map you can use to actually map the frequency, which will take a O of N operation. And then you are simply using a priority queue to just pop out, push back, pop out, push back all the elements in worst case. So time will be O of N plus N log N, which is N log N. Oh, that's fine. Uh, space will be okay. Uh, for using a priority queue, uh, you will have some N elements in that particular priority queue at point of time. Okay. That's cool. But you also know that you are also using, uh, 
you know map to actually map these stuffs out which is frequency to like elements to, to ele elements to their frequency for sure you also need a space for that so that's a o of again an operation so you are using space time can we improvise it can we improvise it like firstly can we imp improvise it maybe maybe we cannot but let's see how we can improvise it firstly the intuition was nothing much more we just actually solve what the problem was saying itself but you saw that we are using a map we are using a priority queue maybe it is overkill as in what we are doing actually was we if we had a three 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 two two one we ultimately know one thing firstly we have to take from the maximum element so i will have to sort it in the maximum order which is i just sorted in the reverse order or maybe you can just sort it in the ascending order also and go from the back now when this is the array i have i know that i should be knowing okay what is the count of this right what is the count of this right or rather i should say okay what is the count of this count of this is sir one now just simply add in your answer the one because you know uh, as this three to two is going for sure i'm converting this three three to a two so if the count of this three is one simply add in your answer as one because you know this three will get converted to a two now you will simply go on go on go on go on now you know that now this two and one came which is which is a which is a difference came in so you know for sure this entire thing will get now you know as this three got, three got converted to a two so it has also become a two so i'm just keeping the count of whatsoever i have got previously now again this transformation which is two to one has come so for sure add a one add a three for it which is one two and three okay i'll add a three for it and simply again it will just keep on going keep on going ultimately it ends it it never got the transformation again which means okay something is there and next it's something different we never got this kind of stuff so okay good so the answer is actually a four so ultimately what we did in this question was we just simply have another variable as count rather than we have rather than taking priority queue and stuff we will simply first sort in the descending order or maybe ascending but go from the back but we will sort in the ascending order we will go from the starting itself we will keep the count okay the count so far is one count so far is one oh bro as soon as you get encounter something different which is i and i minus one nums of i and nums of i minus one if it is different bro please add this count in your answer count was one so far so i just add that in my answer answer become one now simply keep on going okay count will increase by one i keep on going count will increase by one count has become so far three keep on going now firstly as i as i, as I am saying i keep on going i will just check nums of i nums of i minus one it was same as it, it is i and i minus one it is different bro 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 please add this count in your answer cool bro i added that count okay cool count has become four count has become five but yeah it has it has never encountered something else which is i in ms is different so please answer is four so that's how with just o of n log n because for sure you are doing a sorting and it is a time and space is nothing but log n Malab, for sorting itself you need a space itself internally that is the ad hoc space which is which sorting needs so for sure log n will actually be encountered in that case as well but yeah this is the more optimized way to solve this problem cool let's quickly quote this up it's pretty simple logic intuition starts start, start from the priority queue and then it goes down and try to reduce the space with this fact cool and let's quickly solve this up so as we saw earlier also that uh, firstly we will have to sort this entire stuff out now i'll just sort it in the descending order now to sort in the descending order we just do a r begin right b e g i n now uh it is r end now uh when everything is sorted uh now we want we know that the answer will be zero initially uh we will have a count initialized with one because i'll want to compare i and i minus one so if i index zero i will never go on to it so i'll just initialize with a one and i will also have a n uh, for simplicity and not writing nums dot size again and again so as i showed you i'll start from the one itself and not from uh zero so that's the reason i just have a count already as one so i just check okay nums of i if it is not equals to nums of i minus one oh bro then i have to add this count in my answer i'll just add that in my answer and then i'll just simply again increase the count 
I was at every step I have to for sure increase the count and ultimately I can just return the answer. Let's quickly compile this up. Uh, it should work if you have no typos and stuff. So yeah, thank you for watching. Bye bye.